in B, Ellen. One, two, three, and. and years, 
welcome this morning. We're expecting for a great morning together. We're believing that God's going to speak to you. God's going to move in your life. We're going to leave here in a different place than we came in this morning. Amen. Anyone else believe that this morning? Praise God. Here, we're going to pray together. And, uh, you know, on your seats are prayer cards and praise cards. You can pick one of those up and uh, write down your prayer or your praise. If you're at home online, uh, then you can scan the QR code and uh, you can write down something that you're asking God for, something that you're needing breakthrough in. Or if you want to thank God today, then why don't we write down a praise um, as we as we come together in this moment? You know, in Psalm 118, there's these incredible verses there. It says, The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The right arm of the Lord has is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. And this morning, I wonder if somebody's come in here with their head down, feeling defeated, uh, struggling with something that's happened this week, a conversation, an event, something that went, that, that came through on your email, something you saw on social media, and it has caused you to, to put your head down. I want to remind you today of the truth of who God is to you, because the Lord is your strength and your song. And you might not feel it, but God has given you victory. And there will be songs of joy and victory that will be sung in the camp of your life because God's strong right arm will do glorious things. And so I don't know what you're writing down or what's in your mind today as we come to pray. Maybe there's some big stuff going on in your life. Then we're going to focus and, and declare and tell our situation, tell our life who God is. Remind our life that the strong right arm of the Lord is doing glorious things in my life. I